My name is Karina and welcome to the Karina Chronicles. Today I'm going to do my own zodiac sign book tag and we're going to do it for Sagittarius. And Sagittarius is a zodiac sign that I don't know that many people love, but the astro poets thought they were all mean people. So I'm going to spread some love towards them because I don't think they're mean. I don't think they're any meaner than any other zodiac sign. Well, let's just start. So if you don't know, you can check out all the other videos. I made a video for every zodiac sign recommending some books that should fit that zodiac sign. And I found those by uh, coming up with some prompts that you can also use if you want to. And finding a perfect book that fits the prompt. And for Sagittarius, this is like the ninth time I'm doing this. So we're only most whole year through. Uh, and I'm very excited to do this one. There are a lot of recent reads in here, which is coincidental, honestly. So let's quickly start with the prompts. I'm really happy to show you all these books. I'm really excited because most of these were very high ratings for me. So the first prompt is um, showing you a book that the cover or the title or anything really makes me think of Sagittarius and Sagittarius is like shooting an arrow, <laughs> right? <laughs> and so it made me think of the Hunger Games because on most covers Katniss is like shooting an arrow. Or you see like the mocking jay with an arrow through it. So I thought this was perfect. The Hunger Games was one of my favorite books when I was younger and I recently reread it and I thought it was even more impressive than at first. Then I watched all the movies and I was really addicted. <laughs> so yes, I would highly recommend The Hunger Games to you. And um, if you haven't read it yet, it's still worth it, whatever age you are. So that's a very good start. Of this video. The next book is one that I wanted to recommend to you with the same traits as a Sagittarius due to the Google, what Google says about the character traits. And there were three traits again, open, loving and insensitive, which I already thought to be a weird combination. But a character that I thought of was uh, Lucy from the Chronicles of Narnia. So I'm just recommending this whole bunch to you. I don't know if I would really call her insensitive because she's the sweetest, but these character traits together are already weird. So I could say she just speaks her mind and uh, doesn't really take into account what that would cause for other people because she just wants to share her love. She is an amazing character, a very young child in the first books, but a very, very sweet little child. So yeah, would highly recommend these books. There are seven chronicles. I read them all in a row, which was a bit much, but they're really good though. So I would still recommend you to do that. And if you want to read them separately, there are only like 100 pages each. So that's also really nice. Then I wanted to recommend you a book by an author that was a Sagittarius himself or is, but in this case was because a Sagittarius is Jane Austen. And I want to recommend to you Pride and Prejudice. Not only because I think this book is really worth the hype and it's really interesting and important literature and fun to read but also because i want to show you that i have a very second hand not very pretty penguin edition uh, because you will probably never see this again because i have two pride and prejudice <laughs> copies coming my way and i usually never have multiple copies of one book but i just have a few collections that i want to complete and pride and, Pre pride and prejudice is just so popular that it is in every collection so usually i would have been fine with this second hand penguin edition but because i collect well there are actually three i collect three kind of classics 
and I usually don't really spend that much money on it but I ask them for holidays or for my birthday or anything and Pride and Prejudice is in all collections and for one I needed them in order and Pride and Prejudice was the first for one I just put it on the list because I was like okay then you know which ones I want and if they choose another one I'm absolutely fine with that and for the other one I'm also doing then an order and I'm at Pride and Prejudice now which is the sixth copy but still so there are three Pride and Prejudice classic beautiful editions coming my way so this is only the only time you will probably see this one when I'm talking about Pride and Prejudice but but the inside is of course more important. So I would recommend for you to read Pride and Prejudice in whatever edition you want. Well, yeah. The next prompt is a color for Sagittarius. The co color is purple. I did a video all about purple recommendations. So <laughs> that is fun. And this book was not even in there, I believe, because I didn't own it yet. A purple recommendation is Midnight's Children by Selma Rushdie. This is a classic as well. A little bit more modern. Divided in three parts. A very chunky book. But very impressive. It's about the Indian uh, independency. But it's more about just people. <laughs> it's about people and there's a little bit of magic in here. And a little bit of politics. And it's just very well written. It was really fun to read, really interesting. I learned a lot. I couldn't tell you what the plot is about because it's not important. It is not about the plot. And classics usually have that. And if you then don't get the actual meaning, the classics become very boring. And if you do get the actual meaning and you feel the vibe, then it's fun. It's the same with Pride and Prejudice. It's the same with all classics. It's not about the plot. And if you cannot find what it is about, then it's boring. And if you can find out what it is about, then it suddenly becomes something bigger. Well, that's how I would say it. And then the next recommendation is for uh, the gem that is connected to Sagittarius. And the gem is turquoise. Turquoise? I don't know how to pronounce that. I only know the color and I think it's this color. <laughs> so that's why I'm recommending this book to you. Little Fires Everywhere by Celestine. This is also a book about people. But then just more modern. And more about recent societies and racism. Which is of course of all times, unfortunately. But... More about those topics than about um, your place in society. As is more the case with Midnight's Children and Pride and Prejudice, I think. They have common themes throughout all of them. But it's just this one is so much more modern that you see the themes through different happenings. That are very different from Pride and Prejudice, for example. Okay, that was a long explanation. I would recommend all these books to you. The next prompt is to recommend to you a book with the element of a Sagittarius. And the element is fire. And the book that I immediately thought of because fire is in the title is Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Bully. This is a book that has very many different genres in there, which makes it interesting for a lot of people. It is a YA, that it is, it's not adult, it's definitely YA. Thriller, murder, mystery, with a lot of romance in there, which I really didn't like because I didn't see it coming, but it is there. Uh, there's some historical fiction in here because you learn a lot about the uh, uh, culture they're talking about. American natives is dead. And there's also a little bit of science fiction in there. So you have a lot of different things and that makes the story entertaining. It just is an entertaining book. To me, it was too much. There was no genre that was really well done. It was just too much a mix of all of them. 
but I can understand why people do really like it and I do want to read the sequel to this. And it's a book with fire in the title, so I'm recommending it to you now. The next book is a book perfect for the season that Sagittarius is in. And the season is, of course, autumn, although it already snowed here, so it feels like winter. It is autumn. And a perfect book for that is October, October Koning by Pamela Sharon. This is a YA thriller in Dutch, unfortunately, but I feel like this might be translated to English because this publisher does that quite often and they try to get them really promoted and this one was really well received. So I think it could have an English translation soon. And this is like a squid game in book form uh, for people that are elected to play a game to win a lot of money. But the game is more than a game. They need to do all these kind of exercises, uh, assignments, um, where they don't know where their own boundaries are if 10 million dollars or euros are at stake. So really excited, read it in like one go. I couldn't stop, which is great. And for Autumn, I feel like that is the perfect cozy murder mystery vibe that you want. So for the next book, I'm recommending you a book from the playlist that the Astro Poets in their book wrote for every zodiac sign. So, oh, all my books fell, but I catch them all. I'm just like a Pokemon trainer. Anyway, okay. <laughs> um, I put the playlist on the screen. So there are a lot of songs that they think are fitting for Sagittarius and I choose one song that rings a bell immediately and gives me a rec book recommendation to you. And the song that I saw was uh, Young Forever. And <laughs> people that watch my channel might know which book I'm now going to recommend. But it is The Invisible Life of Eddie LaRue by Fee Schwab because the main character is actually young forever. She lives forever and she will always be like 20 something. It is such a beautiful book, this one. I think it's one of V Schwab's best books and she is one of my favorite authors. So that makes it an incredible book. It's about a character that makes a pact with the devil to live forever, but in exchange, no one can remember her. So every time a door closes between her and someone else. The person has completely forgotten that she exists. And this book is about the value of life. What is actually important in life? Would you want to live forever? Um, but also how you can make yourself worthy. Well, that sounds weird, but more like some people want to leave something behind. And it's also really about that. How can you leave a mark on this earth? A positive one then, please. So yeah, I would highly recommend that one. And it really fits the forever young, young forever vibe. And then I'm recommending to you, what is this? Stop. Next I'm recommending to you a book from a Sagittarius friend or family member. And this time it's Fajim. I already asked him like one and a half months ago because I thought his birthday was a few days ago. His birthday was a little later than I thought. And because of that, he should switch zodiac signs. Uh, so I already spoiled which book it would be because I told uh, people in my reading vlogs. But it is Sapiens by um, Harari. And I'm so curious for this book. I haven't read non-fiction in a while. And this one is highly popular. We sell it a lot in the bookstore. And... I'm just really curious. I'm curious about all these favorites for my friends and family. I'm so happy that I'm going to read all of them. It's really cool. I'm really happy. And the last book is like a bonus question. I always recommend to you a book that either takes place in space or is science fiction because I think both of those are underrated. And I'm now going to name a not under underrated book, but anyway. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Because it is like science fiction, but one of the earliest science fictions with a very deeper meaning. Which is also something that in modern science fictions makes them so good to me. Because they are more than just science based, which is 
often what I do really like the science part. But it let us show what things we are dreading, how the future could look like. It's more, sometimes also a little bit of dystopian or utopian. And uh, Frankenstein did that very early. It is such a meaningful story and the monster of Frankenstein is not as much a monster as I expected before I went into this book. So talking about prejudice again, read this book before you just judge Frankenstein or their monster. <laughs> so and that was actually it for this video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like and leave down in the comments what books you would have recommended for these prompts and also which of these are you most interested in. My next Zodiac sign book tag will be later than you expect probably. It will still be in the right Zodiac sign, but there are so many Christmas videos and stuff coming first that are uh, having my priority. So. The zodiac sign will not be there until I think the beginning of February somewhere. But then you can. No, not the beginning of February. More like the beginning of January or the end of January. <laughs> the end of the... Well, you will see my next video when it will come. <laughs> I really hope you liked it. I hope you'll have a lovely day filled with books. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! I keep being surprised by the books that I recommend to you in these videos. Because the prompts are so random that the books that I recommend to you are also very random. And I'm also very excited to show you my new editions of Pride and Prejudice when they finally arrive.